Hello everyone, let's continue with our discussion on module 5 part 2 about atmospheric pollution and uh, air pollution and various definitions are uh, uh, provided by various agencies on the air pollution and it goes like this air pollution means the presence in the outdoor atmosphere of one or more contaminants such as dust, fumes, gas, mist, odor, smoke or vapor in, qu in quantity with characteristics and duration such as to be injurious to human, plant or animal or to property or which unreasonably interfere with the comfortable enjoyment of life and property. So this uh, is given by Engineers Joint Council and there is another uh, definition like uh, given by Indian Standard Institutes. I think this is also this is also very important. Air pollution is the presence of presence in ambient atmosphere of substances generally resulting from the activity of man in sufficient concentration, present for a sufficient time, and under and the, under circumstances which interfere significantly with the comfort, health, or welfare of persons or with the full use or enjoyment of property. When, when there is a compromise in any of these you know, aspects, we can consider that uh, there is a uh, pollu air pollution. Okay. Air pollution is the excessive concentration of foreign matters in air which adversely affect the uh, well-being of the individual or cause damage to the property. So, Basically, it is this is given by American Medical Association. So, irrespective of the pollution, whether it is air pollution or glare pollution or noise pollution or whatever it is, ultimately it uh, interferes with our lives and it uh, disturbs and 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 it uh, makes us forces us to compromise uh, and it even challenges post a, a threat to our life. So, this is the basic nature of any of the pollutants, pollutions. And various studies have been conducted by uh, uh, agencies across the globe and WHO is, uh, you know, conducted in, in 2016 uh, some studies uh, uh, across various cities in India, um, you know, along with um, other, other countries and all. Now, I have just put uh, some, uh, you know, very, very prominent uh, observations really pertaining to India. It says, the study found that um, 22 out of 30 world's polluted cities being belongs to India. Okay, that is one very important uh, study, and it has been observation, and it has been estimated that in 2016 alone over 9 lakh deaths in India were caused due to air pollution, and this is a even larger list. But I have picked only these two points so that you know at least. Um, you know, we will will uh, will understand how significant and how important uh, this pollution is. It's like a silent killer, in sometimes, and uh, j just one week before, uh, you know, you might have uh, heard the case of um, uh, some some toxic gas leakage, killing eight people or so in Vishakhapatnam. So that is something like, uh, you know, we'll come to know when there is a pollution or when there is some. Uh, um, you know, uh, hazardous emission of waste, wa uh, polluted water, polluted air. But at the same time, uh, there are certain types of uh, air pollutions which uh, you know we'll be breathing and we'll be consuming on our day-to-day -day life, and that will slowly accumulate uh, in our body, and then you know that will uh, result into this kind of undesirable effects. And uh, some uh, s studies have proved that a single human being consumes approximately 11,000 liters of uh, oxygen per day, uh, sorry, air per day. And, and out of that, some 20 percentage will be for oxygen. So that much uh, quantity of air is required for the human being. And so, and now um, sources of air pollutions, okay, now we need to know what are the various sources? I think this absolutely doesn't require any kind of um, explanation. Um, 
the only thing is to see, see things in a uh, categorically okay we all know that how uh, uh, you know what are the various resulting uh, uh, or the causes or sources of air pollution and on the right hand side you can see the, the thick um, black uh, uh, smoke emissions and that was actually a result of uh, some uh, uh, you know some accident which uh, some plant recycling plant which uh, caught fire some some tire uh, recycling plant in some places so and and such uh, uh, emissions are usually found in the case of uh, you know some terrorisms when there is a terror attack or bomb blast and all this happens basically so either either in, in the uh, either during any of the destructive or accidental you know reasons or uh, uh, otherwise as a uh, side effect of any constructive and creative work and this uh, pollution happens and atmosphere and we know uh, see our topic is atmospheric pollution so we need to understand have it's very important to have a clear understanding about atmosphere and atmosphere um, so the definition i have taken from wikipedia you uh, i suggest you all to spend time in in reading and understanding this because um, just trying to make this uh, Uh, this audio lecture as brief as possible and atmosphere uh, is, is the word is derived from uh, ancient greek in in which in it is it can be split into two atmosphere and sphere atmos mean, means vapors and uh, sphere that means actually ball so it is a layer or a set of layers of gases around the planet or other material body that is held in place by the gravity of the body so different types of uh, you know gases in in its elemental forms or in composition or in whichever way and they are distributed around the uh, the planet not just earth but in other planets also and this is uh, you know kept uh, attached to this planet as a uh, envelope because of the gravity of that uh, you know planet and an atmosphere is more likely to be retained if the gravity is gravity it is subject to is high and the temperature of the atmosphere is low so in in so the, it is not that you know the uh, the atmosphere will and you know, will be having the same atmosphere uh, even even when uh, you know when, when the planet is subject to various climatic uh, changes and all uh, there will be repercussions and uh, effects on the atmosphere also because when when there is a, a heating up or, or greenhouse effect and all the basically what happens is the, the natural uh, uh, system of the you know uh, uh, the planet's natural uh, ecosystem or the balance actually gets disturbed and obviously that will um, effect have effect on the at- atmosphere which may not be easily visible also that's most important and on right hand side you can see a strip uh, showing you know various spheres like uh, troposphere then stratosphere mesosphere this you have learned in your school now the you can spend some time to understand this and the distribution and majority of uh, the uh, the element um, in the atmosphere is nitrogen constituting about 78 percentage and then comes uh, oxygen and other um, gases are also present and this is what the normal uh, distribution pr- or or or, or a portion of various elemental you know gases and the history of air pollution again air pollution which uh, comes back from the uh, that that firewood because the moment you know we we, we started and you know, uh lighting up something then it will emit and some chemical reactions will take place and it will start and increasingly found you know as we uh, in a move to more organized and industrialized uh, so society or urbanization came in then anti pollutant law so obviously when it has uh, you know it it started affecting or when we started realizing that this is this can adversely affect uh, the human life then some laws on anti pollution was brought in by the people uh, uh, for using the coal for domestic heating uh, uh, which was passed in uh, twel- um, uh, 
1273 and banning the use of coal was uh, passed in AD uh, 1300 for, uh, uh, through an another act and defying the law led to imposition of capital punishment in spite of uh, this air pollution became a serious problem in london during industrial revolutions you can go through that and and also this uh, in various places the smog occurs the, the fog plus smoke and smoke gets uh, mixed up with the f- uh, fog and then it becomes smog and that uh, is a serious uh, um, you know a serious uh, a problem and it's uh, affects and uh, you know, uh, in various spheres of our life and again it uh, it is continued i'm skipping this portions and another uh, okay the broad classification of sources of air pollutions are um, broadly into natural and anthropogenic and natural means yes volcanic eruptions dust uh, storms forest fires and anthropogenic means industrial industries domestic motor vehicles etc so here in our syllabus uh, we are focusing at anthropogenic or man made reasons of air pollution because natural reasons anyway will be there we, we have uh, you know discussed about earthquake other uh, other phenomena everything and everything contributes actually so that uh, we don't have much control directly whereas this is something which we are uh, we have to seriously look in and classification of air pollutants and this classification is you know uh, uh, based on how it uh, the how this forms or how it is formed the sense uh, primary and secondary these are the two classification primary pollutant means this is emitted directly from the source example is particulate matter sulfur dioxide uh, hydrogen sulfide nitric acid acid sorry nitric oxide the nitrogen dioxide hydrocarbons radioactive compounds etc and secondary pollutants formed secondary pollutants are those formed in the atmosphere by chemical interaction along um, you know among primary pollutants and other atmospheric constituents because uh, you know some you know this air pollution can happen uh, by the emission of some polluting uh, contents directly from the source or sometimes it could happen like Uh, some some pollutants or some material which emits into atmosphere and that gets mixed up with um, contents in atmosphere and then a new uh, uh, a toxic material is uh, is formed for example the sulfur trioxide sulfur dioxide is not normally emitted directly sulfur dioxide is emitted and that on interaction with the atmosphere it results into sulfur trioxide which is again a identified um, secondary pollutions okay and peroxyacetyl nitrate then ozone aldehydes ketones etc so these are all chemical chemicals formed okay. out of uh, some reactivity and pollutants sources and harmful effects now if when this is a, a table showing various gaseous air pollutions and their sources and effects and it's very very important uh, Uh, you know uh, uh, topic like carbon compounds all carbon compounds like carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and you all know the sources is automobile exhaust burning of uh, wood etc wood coal then it will have uh, respiratory uh, problems and it can and carbon dioxide is a heat carrying uh, uh, gas and therefore it contributes into greenhouse effects and then sulfur compounds or sulfur dioxide trioxide and then hydrogen sulfide etc in the it is usually emitted from the power plants and the refineries and also as well as through volcanic eruption and it causes results into respiratory you know problems in humans and loss of chlorophylls of plant um, and and nitrogen compounds so i'm you can uh, read and understand this so different uh, health issues it all has uh, you know some side effects and types of particulates particulates are are those particle matters and it um, and namely aerosol mist dust smoke fumes plume fog smoke these are different uh, terminologies and and it has their own it has a specific meaning also But here aerosol means general uh, term for particles suspended in air 
and mist is aerosol consisting of liquid droplets dust is aerosol consisting of solid particles that are blown blown into the air or are produced from large particles by grinding them down okay. and then smoke aerosol consisting of solid particles or a mixture of solid and liquid particles produced by chemical reactions such as fires and you, you may read that and then aerosol examples are sprays from pressurized cans it causes aerosol uh, or uh, this thing some uh, some deodorants or some spray which are commonly used for vari various uh, you know purpose and then mist sulfur acid mist it may result into some uh, um, liquid droplets okay if uh, an example is sulfur sulfuric acid mist means it consists of liquid droplets means that when the water and or the atmospheric air which contains some fine droplets of sulfuric acid and it forms into sulfuric acid mist okay. like that uh, zinc fumes you can read this now effect of air pollution on giving on living organism living organism means not just human beings it affects uh, uh, you know the as other animals and uh, Uh, the you know, vegetations and on humans, uh, the total body burden. The, this concept of total body burden refers to the way a pl a air pollutant accumulates in a body system, in a human system. Example: lead, um, source, motor vehicle incinerator effect is it impairs hemoglobin synthesis, alter the nervous system. So that is why lead-free uh, once it is identified. that you know lead has a significant uh, problem on health uh, or, or lead is hazardous in nature then uh, then we we started um, uh, you know uh, uh, controlling this uh, lead content in various uh, substances even in petrol uh, in we use lead free petrol otherwise what happens is this will burn and and the uh, uh, it will through through fuel burning lead will reach uh, the people so that's why you know we go for this lead free petrol and uh, similarly so so we need a strong regulations uh, to to identify this and to you know make uh, some you know to put some regulatory constraints fine now the carbon monoxide carbon monoxide again uh, emitted uh, through some partial burning in the motor vehicle etc and then it increases the percentage of uh, 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 carbon monoxide uh, hb okay and uh, hemoglobin and then the affinity of hemoglobin for carbon monoxide is that is is more than 200 times that its affinity for uh, so affinity for oxygen now there is another table showing the pollutants description sources health effects and welfare effects you can read this and then effect on plants again um, you may read this uh, i'm i'm skipping all this portion because uh, anyway you need to spend some time to understand this and and now in the next video will continue with other effects Um, so that the table you can see various types of air pollutants and um, their effects uh, such as uh, when sulfur dioxide is more then it uh, uh, cause results into some bleached spots in leaves then uh, ozone when it is more then uh, certain you know uh, some effects are observed and glazing like that you know and we'll try to uh, go through each of these uh, Uh, things in detail okay in in the coming slides okay we'll continue in the second uh, next slide